I apologize for any background noise that you may hear while I'm talking. I don't have my usual noise cancellation setup at the moment, so the background noises are exposed. But anyways, the spike is an isosceles acute triangle, therefore it is a two-dimensional irregular polygon. It has one line of symmetry and a rotational symmetry of order 1. It has a base measuring 1 unit and an altitude measuring 1 unit. Its area is 1 half. The sides measure 1, square root of 5 over 2, and square root of 5 over 2 with square root of 5 over 2 being the length of the legs of the spike. The perimeter is square root of 5 plus 1, and the semi-perimeter is the golden ratio, or square root of 5 plus 1 all over 2. The angle at the apex is approximately 53.13 degrees, and each of the base angles measure approximately 63.435 degrees. If you check the sum of the approximations, they add up to 180 degrees, which is the sum of the interior angles of any triangle. The complement of the apex angle is 36.87 degrees, and the supplement is... 126.87 degrees, which is the sum of the two base angles. The complement of each of the base angles is 26.565 degrees, which is half of the apex angle, and the supplement is 116.565 degrees. Here are the approximate trigonometric values for the interior angles. I mentioned earlier that its height was one unit, but that is the altitude perpendicular to the base. If the spike is turned to make either of the legs into the base, its altitude perpendicular to the leg is 2 over square root of 5, or when rationalized becomes 2 square root of 5 over 5. The radius of the incircle of the triangle is equal to the area of the triangle divided by the semi-perimeter, which is 1 over 1 plus square root of 5. The radius of the circumcircle is 0 0.625. You can probably already calculate the values of those circles, such as the diameter and the circumference yourself given these values, since the formulas for those are basic enough. That's it for this video. Goodbye.